I don't know, I just went out with my friends and had a good night and started walking home and, um, yeah, just normal. I'd walk that way a lot of the time because I used to work in the city and I'd walk up that street heaps of, <coughs> and probably later at that, that the earlier in the morning, I'd say. So I felt comfortable and everything. And walking up one street, I noticed there was some guy behind me and I crossed the road to go over my street and noticed he was behind me again. And then, yeah, after that, all I remember is being hit in the side of the head. How you going? Remember me? I was the guy down at the park over there before. What, what are you avoiding me for? What, what's going on? Talk to me, will you? That's right. I'm, I'm just going home. Okay. You sure? Because yeah. uh, I'll come home with you. No, it's safe. fine. Well, it destroyed me for a really long time, I think. I was a new mum. I couldn't be the mum that I wanted to be because I was dealing with this. And trying to self-medicate with alcohol. I couldn't sleep, I had insomnia. As much as it damaged me, I think it damaged me and my son's relationship. Because I was trying to deal with what was happening with me. Would you want this to happen to someone else? Would you want this to happen to someone that's your family? Mm -hmm. What would you do? What would you do as a family member if someone that close to you went through this? I don't know. I wouldn't. If this was, if my son did this to someone, I'm sorry, but he would be gone. I wouldn't keep him away from jail. Because you, no one deserves that. No one. Absolutely no one. You should be allowed to walk where you want to walk. You should be able to do what you want to do. You shouldn't have to fear for your life or fear that someone's going to follow you and do something like that to you. 